What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J and today I am doing a good old fashioned haul video because your girl has some things that I care to share. And I have so many packages here because there has been a lot of things that I have been grabbing and storing because as you all may know I took a little bit of a hiatus for the month of January but your girl is back and uh, just because I haven't been on camera doesn't mean I haven't been grabbing things so I have boxes stacked up yay high if I could show you without having to disturb the camera I would but I promise you this is gonna be a good one but um before we get into the haul where I'm sharing all the good lovely things that I have I do want to give a special thank you to Top Cash Back for collaborating with me on today's video Thank you so much. You all know I love and adore Top Cashback. I have partnered with them so many times for good reason because I truly believe in their site and their service. If you all don't know, Top Cashback is a rebate website and they have thousands of retailers on their website where you are able to save money while you're shopping or if you're like me, you can think of it as getting paid to shop. Not literally, but you know, you save money on things that you're going to buy anyways. And the process to sign up is super simple. All you have to do is sign up using your email address. When you sign up with a new account, you get $10 once you make your first purchase of $25 or more. And like I said, they have thousands of retailers on their website, including Sephora, which you all know I got some goodies from Sephora that I'm going to be sharing in today's video. So in addition to Sephora, they have hundreds of other beauty retailers. I mean... Fenty, Benefit, Ulta, NARS, you name it. On Top Cashback's website, all you have to do is select the retailer that you're shopping through. Say for instance, Sephora, you click it and it redirects you to Sephora's page and you shop like you normally would. And another thing that I love about Top Cashback is that they consistently have a higher cashback percentage in comparison to their competitors. So you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck. And I like to save my cash. I store it in my little account and when things come around that I want to grab, I cash out. And the good thing is, is that there's no minimum payout. So when I'm ready to pay out my money, I'm able to do so and transfer it super easily. It's 100% free to sign up and I personally have saved so many thousands of dollars over the years because y'all know how much I shop online. I implore you all to sign up for it. I will have a link down in my description box. If you sign up, like I said, with the new account, you do get a $10 bonus once you make your first purchase of $25 or more on top of being able to save whatever percentage of whatever website you're shopping on. So it's a win-win. So link down below. Make sure you sign up and get your shop on, honey. Thank you again to Top Cash Back for collaborating with me. And with no further ado, let's jump into some of these goodies that I've hauled today, okay? So let's start off with Sephora because I grabbed a few things from there. And the first thing that I picked was my birthday gift because if you don't know, January 23rd is my birthday. Day. and every year Sephora has a different birthday gift and this year they had a Tatcha set and I love Tatcha one of my absolute favorite skincare brands and in the set it had the rice wash and the dewy skin cream which is great because in the winter time my skin goes through it it's just super dry and sometimes it just cracks up so I need something that's going to keep it moisturized and hydrated so I was happy to see this plus it's in a little bit of travel size and this is good for actually traveling so I don't have to take a big old thing because you know if you're going out of town or something you don't need that big old thing it's like honey you're not gonna run out you're only gonna be gone a weekend or whatever so this is good for that so Thank you, Sephora, for my birthday gift. I think it's cute. I also grabbed this new lip liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I grabbed the shade Cool Brown, and I have it on right now. I think it's a pretty nice brown shade. It's definitely on the cooler side, but it doesn't lean gray. It reminds me of a cooler version of MAC Cork. I'm a big fan of brown lip liners in general, so I was liking the consistency of it when I was swatching it, and so far, so good. It has a nice amount of slip, but it still has a little bit of resistance, so when you're lining your lips, it flows, but not too much, so you're not making a mess, if you catch my drift. I might go grab another color, 
We'll see. And my lipstick that I'm rocking is another new lip product from Anastasia. This is a reformulation of their lipsticks. This one is a satin lipstick in the shade Rose Brown. And I'm so glad to have this new formulation because it does have a bit more slip to it. I actually swatched all of Anastasia's lipsticks back in the day. Is that really back in the day? I don't know, what all do you all consider back in the day? Like how far back is back in the day? Like is 2015 back in the day yet or is that too soon? You know, is 2010 back in the day? So like what's your back in the day? Tell me down in the comment section. But anyways, I swatched all of her lipsticks before and I can tell that they were much drier than this new formulation and I know that they have two different ones. So they have the satin formula and they have the matte formula within Anastasia's brand. So I really like this shade. I have it on right now and I think it really just matches the vibe and I like it paired with the lip liner. Dag, okay, one more thing from Anastasia. Anastasia ran all my coins up, okay. So this is the Crystal Lip Gloss and it's clear. I actually wouldn't even have looked twice at this if the girl at the store hadn't told me that this is the best clear lip gloss that she has ever used. It's truly like glass. You can basically see your reflection in it and it has a really nice clear, and I mean crystal clear look. So I was intrigued, I grabbed it, and uh, I will be following up with my thesis on the best clear lip gloss coming soon. The next brand that has had me in a chokehold is NARS because NARS has come out with a lot of new things lately. Starting with powders, so this is a light reflecting setting powder in the loose version. It's in the shade Shore. Let me take this out because I actually have not used or did I use this? I can't remember if I used this or the pressed one. Nope, it was this one. Okay, let me see, honey, because I actually left my makeup like 70% done so I can use some of these new products. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip right into this powder. I like that it does have a closed top so I'm not getting powder everywhere when I open it. But um, this one has a little bit of a golden banana type hmm, undertone. What do we think? I just put it on this side. Can we tell a difference? Y'all, I'm sorry if you hear that heat coming on, but I can't turn it off. I can't. I'm just gonna hope that you can't hear it, but I promise you it's so brick cold outside that I can't sit here and film without the heat. Normally I would, but it's, it's too cold. It looks gray outside, it's so cold, and it's nighttime. But anyways, can we tell a difference? I think this just darkened it up a little bit but I think it made it look more cohesive, more so like my complexion perhaps. Hmm. What do we think? I think it looks good and smooth, I'll tell you that. Okay, Nars, I'll do more in-depth research about this because I also picked up the pressed version. This is a light reflecting powder as well, same color, sure. I feel like they could have had something in between this though. This was the closest one for my complexion, but I almost wanted to have one in between this one and the lightest one. And I want to say the lightest one was just translucent and then we went to shore. So we'll see, I don't know, it's a little yellow. The loose one is, but we'll see how the pressed one performs when I do my research and maybe a little video or two. And then I grabbed the foundation. This one is the light reflecting foundation. I grabbed my normal shade Syracuse. I've gathered a little bit of an opinion on it. I will be doing a video on this very soon, but basically I think this has more coverage than I was expecting it to. But we'll get more into a deep dive on it in the actual video. That's everything that I have grabbed from Sephora, but and I do have more things. So let's proceed. Yes, indeed. Any day is a good day with Dior. I have been so excited to try this. Okay, so Dior's packaging always is top tier. Let's start there. Presentation on 100. They always give a cute gift. New foundation alerts. Dior has reformulated their Forever Foundation. So this one is the Dior Forever Transfer Proof 24 Hour Foundation High Perfection Concentrated Floral Skin Care with Sunscreen Foundation. I grabbed the shade 4N. This one is the matte version. So 4N historically has been a little orange on me. I don't know if they've reformulated and redone some of the shades. 
So we'll see. I'm excited to try it. But what I do know is that Dior is no stranger to reformulating things. And it seems like with this Forever Foundation, they've reformulated it about three or four times. So we'll see. I got the shade 3 in in the Forever Skin Glow Foundation just because I felt like it would be a closer match to me in the winter time because I am... <sighs> I'm a bit tanless. Um, I've bronzed and I've used a darker foundation today, but your girl has zero tan. So I'm excited to try them out and give you all my opinion on them. If you all have tried them, let me know. If you've been a fan of Dior foundations in the past, let a girl know that too. Next box is some PR. Coco Kind so was kind enough to send me some goodies. So this is their scrubbing clay. I'm using this today. It's an in-shower body scrub with upcycled coffee and prebiotic chicory, honey. That is going to be on my body today. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm getting in the shower and I'm doing that. Oh, it smells good. It smells like chocolate and not coffee. I don't know, sometimes I think coffee smells like chocolate and vice versa. And then we have the Coco Kinds Oil to Milk Cleanser. Love that. Ooh, the AHA Jelly Cleanser. Your girl is gonna be so fresh and so clean, clean. Thank you so much, Coco Kinds, for sending over these goodies. I appreciate you. This one is from Beautylish. I don't know if this is something that they sent me or something that I ordered. Oh, I ordered this, baby. Okay, hold on. Oh, Sonya G. Let me open this up. This is her, I wanna pronounce it, but I wanna make sure it's right. I think it's pronounced Yakusugi Brush Set. Oh my gosh, it's so magical. Okay, so this comes in its own wooden box, okay? That's how you know something is serious. And then the box, look at this design, okay? Look at here, open this up. So nice, so nice, oh my goodness. This is serious, such a collector's set. I love, 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 love the story behind this. I am so excited to open this up. I'm going to use these sparingly because they are more so of a collector's set for me than an everyday makeup set. But um, I'm so glad to have them. And then just reading Sonya's story about how she selected these and the type of wood that they come from, it is truly, truly remarkable. And oh my goodness, it is so soft as I would have already imagined, I know. Sonya G is gonna come through with the craftsmanship and I just love this shape. Oh, I'm so excited to have these in my collection. And the smaller brush is more so of like an enlarged pencil brush, okay? Oh, it's so nice, so beautiful. Love, 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 love. I have a special Sonya G video coming soon, so definitely be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna put these back in their home, making sure that I'm taking care Good, good care. All right. This one is a Danessa Myricks Infinite Chrome Micro Pencil, and I grabbed the shade Opal. A few of the shades that I wanted were already sold out. I'm like, dang. People know about Danessa's stuff now, so if you want it, you gotta get it. I wanted that green one, and I wanna say it was a beautiful purple one that I wanted, but Opal was still on the site, so let's see what Opal looks like. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Can we see that shift? Okay. And then I grabbed two more Sonya brushes. I told y'all, I told y'all, when the Niji Pro came back in stock, that I was going to get two more. And what I say, I got two more. I love this brush. It is my favorite powder brush. I'm going to run it to the ground because it does everything that I need it to do. Bronzer all over powder it's my main tea with it but you know if you need it to do more it can it's truly a workhorse brush love that and then included they also gave Danessa Myrick's vision cream cover a little sample packet and it has different shades in here so that's awesome thank you for that little added benefit I love that let me see what else I got from Beautyless Child because I promise you I don't know what's in this box the new Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin foundation I got the shade 9N let me see that I get a good match. Cause I have been interested in trying this. Looks like me. Oh, let me not, let me not make a mess. Cause I actually don't have any tissue 
a napkin to clean up, so let me not. But um, I definitely will be doing a video on this super soon. And then, because so many of you all expressed that you were interested in me doing a video using this palette, I went ahead and bought it. This one is the Hindash palette. If you all saw my video that I did in collaboration with Glam Girl Chelsea, it was products that I skipped this year, which meaning last year. And I talked about how I skipped this palette, and so many of you all were like, I wish you didn't, I wish you would do a video on it, so... Y'all know I love my kale bells. Y'all know I love y'all. So I went ahead and I ordered it. So I don't know if I'm going to do a dedicated video to it or what I'm going to do. But I'll be playing with it soon. I want to do a few few little trial runs myself to see you know, how I feel about it before I get on video with it. But honey, I'm loving the packaging. So we'll see how it performs. But stay tuned for that one. Oh, these NARS lip glosses. I did order these. So I have been a huge fan of NARS Chelsea Girl lip gloss for as long as I can remember. And this actually is not the color. This is darker and it looks more neutral and Chelsea Girls has a little bit more pink to it. I gotta find my original. I don't know. This does not look like the color. I mean, I'm not mad at the color or anything, but this just doesn't look like it. They put it on. NARS has done a lot of reformulating of their products lately and launched new things and all that good stuff. So I saw that they had new lip gloss colors. So y'all know me being the lip gloss fiend that I am, I jumped on it and then I grabbed Nympho. I had to have this shade. It just looks like my kind of freaking shade. And you know what? I want to put this on too. This looks closer in line with what I already had on my lips. Ooh, my lips look juicy. I am a huge fan of NARS lip gloss. I'm gonna add this to my pile of NARS stuff that I'm gonna talk about in my NARS video. You all should play a game. Order stuff, and wait a month to open it, and then that's how you'll know if you really, really want it because it's like, honey, do you really remember what you ordered? Um, This is a Chanel blush. It is a limited edition blush. It's in the shade Pesh Rose. <laughs> And my box is damaged. It's got a little cut on the top of the box and everything. I think that they were probably in a rush with this one, but um, let's see what the inside looks like. So I am a huge fan of Chanel cheap products, especially the limited edition ones that have a design. I would probably say that I'm a collector of them. And this one just called my name. It doesn't smell like a Chanel blush. They took away the scent. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm a huge fan of the way Chanel blushes smell. And um, I haven't used one in a long time. I haven't bought a new one. So I don't know if the newer ones don't have a fragrance, but I like that aspect of it. But um, this color is pretty. Okay, I'm not gonna use it right now because I don't want to mess up the design. But um, we'll see what I think about it. If and when I choose to use it, I'm not a happy camper about that packaging, but I am glad that the inside and the actual blush is unharmed. Refer! They are launching a fragrance-free, essential oil-free hydration cream and is suitable for all skin types. I have known that Refer was working on skincare for a while, so I'm glad that the cat is out of the bag. And I can't wait for you all to experience it because if you all know Refer, then you know that that is a company that truly is for the people and they truly want to deliver great products at a lower price. That way it's more accessible for everyone. So I'm so excited to have the actual products in my hands because they've given me a few samples and I've been impressed but you know it's nothing like the experience of having the products in the packaging that really just solidifies it for me so cannot wait to use it I'm gonna use it tonight I love this type of packaging because to me it seems uh, official you know like sometimes when you have skincare that's not in skincare-y type packaging. It doesn't really skincare like how it's supposed to. Are you feeling me? I feel like this one is skincare like it's supposed to and I just love this packaging. Look at it on the back of my hand, okay? So a super lightweight moisturizer and it feels really nice and hydrating. And look at the Danessa eyeliner not going nowhere. Thank you so much Refer for sending this over. I cannot wait for you all to be able to experience what I have been experiencing for a little while now. So this one is from Fancy Face Inc. Let's open her up. So they sent me a good amount of products 
So this is their pressed powder. I have the shade 908 Bougie. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's nice and weighty, I will tell you that. Mmm, little highlighted situation. Let me do a little highlight. Okay. Nice and smooth. A beauty stick. This one is in the shade Chisel Me, so it's a sculpting stick. I'm not gonna use this right now, but I like the tone of it. It's a really nice golden brown. This one is 03 Outspoken. Plus Lip Slick. So, it has a little bit of a pepperminty smell to it. This one is a crayon. Let's see. It's a lip liner in the shade Nude. Right up my alley. This one is a supermodel lip bath. Smoothing Collagen Lip Treatment. It can be used as lip prep or as an overnight sleeping mask. It has a little applicator that fits in here so you can just slide it out and then it's like that. They sent me one of their blushes. French Kiss, which actually looks like a color. But I need to put on my cheeks right now. Ooh, ooh, I like this shade. And lastly, I have a lipstick from them. This one is in the shade Mega Rich. I like the sound of that. Oh, okay, fancy, but thank you so much. This is the mailer that they sent. It says our goal at Fancy Face is to equip women like yourself with effective techniques and easy to use yet highly effective beauty products to help you put your best face forward no matter what lies ahead. We truly hope you find some gems that lift your spirit and feed your soul. Sweet, thank you so much for sending this over. I cannot wait to play. Let's open up this box. This one is a mystery box as well. Charlotte, you sneaky rascals. They sent me this. This is Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I didn't know they were sending me this. Okay, let me open it. Char Char, they sent me three shades. They sent me nine neutral, nine warm, and eight warm. Thank you so much. So now I have more shades to swatch and show you all in my Charlotte video. Thank you so much. Ipsy Rose Quartz Hair Mask. Interesting. Kim Chi Chic Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. Always love me a good setting spray, honey. Koa Life Mist Me Rejuvenating Toner. I have a little eyeshadow brush from Hip Dots. Okay. Fluffy Flat Shader. Honey Jarrett Lip Sleeping Mask. This one is in the scent Lemon Honey. And then a little pouch. Let's see what's in the little pouch. Eyeshadow Benefit Professional Sample. Ooh, Do You Lip Gloss. Ooh, Black Magic Cocoa Edit Liquid Liner. So it's a liquid brown eyeliner. I like I need to use this right now. Yes, this is what I was missing from my look. Oh, I like that. Thank you so much, Ipsy, for sending over my box of goodies. Now, these things were a gift from my beautiful manager, Jill. Thank you so much, Jill. Love you. So, let's see. So, this is the Delina hair perfume. I'm about to spray this in my hair right now. I wish it was down swinging because, honey, I need my hair to smell like Delina at all times. I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> Do you all have hair perfume? Because if not, what are you waiting for? You need your hair to be smelling good. Thank you, Jill. I love Delina, seriously. And to have a hair perfume, honey, I just might go wash my hair and have it down and spray it with the hair perfume just so I can swing it and smell that intoxicating scent. I love that. Thank you. She also sent Gucci bronzer. Thank you, Jill. Oh. She sent me 03. Love this Gucci bronzer. Happy to have another because I use mine every single day. Ooh, Givenchy. Givenchy for the Lunar New Year. This is pretty. Oh my goodness. What color is it? 325. Ooh, this could have popped with my look today. I love this. Love Givenchy's lipstick packaging. It is so luxe. Love, love, love. A Lancome eyeshadow. Ooh, Mirage. Love Lancome's eyeshadows. Their matte eyeshadows are some of the most slept on eyeshadows in the game. And, aw, a little Tiffany perfume sample. I actually don't have this scent. I gifted my mom and my aunt Tiffany perfume for Christmas. 
love it thank you so much jill oh my gosh thank you for all that you do i appreciate you and thank you for thinking of me to send me these goodies love ya i went to ulta to get some re-ups of some of my favorite eyeshadows because it's been a minute since i bought new ones and lo and behold it was so hard to find this i had to search high and low for these eyeshadows from urban decay apparently somebody blew up the spot and told everybody that these were fire one and done eyeshadows. So these are from Urban Decay's Moon Dust Eyeshadow Formulation and I love them so much. I got the shade Lithium, which I've never tried this one, but I love the Moon Dust Eyeshadow Formula. So I was like, this one looks like a shade that I would like. And then I was really looking for Space Cowboy because this is my go-to all over wet eyelid type shade and I love it. I actually have not purchased one since like maybe 2000. 12 and the one that I currently have is not bad it still works it's just old so it's like I probably need to get a new one and I couldn't find it anywhere so luckily I was able to snag one but um I want to talk more about those because I absolutely adore them y'all I'm so excited other lands reached out to me <laughs> I love candles I feel like I've not made that a secret but um I have been talking about it a little bit more on my channel and I was so stoked when other land reached out to me and asked me, could they send me things? I'm like, absolutely. Look at this package. Nice. So I have to do an impromptu smell test. This one is chandelier. Oh, I like this. It smells kind of woody, but it's still fresh at the same time. It's bright, but it smells kind of outdoorsy. I like that one. Rattan. This one smells orange. It smells like fall. I like this one too. I think I will put this one in the foyer. It smells like something that's very inviting. I have the large size of Kindling. I really like this one. It smells like a camp. Very smoky, kind of woodsy. Ooh, David. It smells like peony, like a flower. Very fresh, almost like a nice soap that you would have in your bathroom. And then we have Canopy. Canopy is very green. But green like tropical green, like a jungle. I love it, love it, love it. It takes you to another land. Y'all, I love other land candles. Thank you so much for sending these over. I'm keeping this forever. And the last thing that I'm gonna share is a little sum sum that I have in a black box. And many of you makeup lovers may know out there what this black box entails. <laughs> Peppergrass X Bridgerton. Once again, I'm gonna be the last person on the internet in the beauty community to review a Pat McGrath collection. I feel like that's just like the running gag now. <laughs> but I'm still going to review it because I know so many of you all were really interested in this collection and actually sold out. I did enjoy the show so I'm glad to see that it still has hype surrounding it enough to have a collection. Oh yeah it is two highlighters so I got both the highlighters and then it's the blush. I'm sure you all have seen this collection and seen this collection. So all you all probably want now are my looks and my thoughts on it. So as you all know, it'll be coming soon. I got to take some pictures, do some cute things with it, and I'll have my video up lickety split. What does lickety split mean anyways? I'm that person that looks up everything. I'm like, what is lickety split? But yeah, that is everything. I think I probably have a few more residual packages at my UPS box because when I went today they just kept bringing me box after box after box they were like what happened I tried to call them and tell them like hey I'm not gonna be in I'm still out of town but child they did not answer the phone so when I showed up today they were like oh my gosh we've been looking for you we got all your packages so this is everything that I have collected and I have and I'm so excited to be opening it up because I have so many things to play with so many videos to film let me know what order y'all want to see what in. I know Bridgerton is something that is more pressing. The Charlotte. I have Chanel. I have NARS. What else? I'm like, I got videos on deck that I can do with all this stuff. So let me know what you all are interested in first down in the comment section. And if you are not subscribed, join the Kale Bell community, honey. Turn on those notifications support watch this content because there's so much I have in store for 2022 and this is just the beginning and also before you click out of this video make sure you click on that link to sign up on top cashbacks website because I'm telling you right now if you don't you are leaving money on the table money that you can do other stuff with 
it makes me feel a little bit less guilty when I shop. I'm just saying because I'm getting a little bit of a percentage back on things that I was literally going to buy it anyways. I'm going to buy it regardless. So at least I can get a little bit of some some back in my pocket. And I love Top Cashback because it's simple to use. And those coins come in handy. I will check you out in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.